fluctuate weight like it's going out of style. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to take a step. Welcome back. Today is day number eight. Oh my gosh. Every day I say this. Time is flying by. This is crazy. I was looking at my calendar and I'm like, next Thursday, my life is going to change. Next Thursday, guys. I'm almost getting a little teary-eyed about this. It's, it's crazy. It's next Thursday. I was talking to some friends tonight and I was they were asking me, oh, when's your surgery? And I said next week. And it like clicked and I was like, oh my gosh, I got exactly seven days before my surgery. My life is gonna change in seven days. Crazy. Well, anyway, today I did a lot. I slept and then I slept some more. Oh, and then I went to my husband's softball game. But right before that, I took a little dozed off nap. I weighed myself this morning, then I weighed myself tonight. Uh, I, like I said in the beginning, I fluctuate on my weight like it's going out of style. It is crazy. One day I'm 215, the next day I'm 212, the next day I'm 218, the next day I'm 211, the next, what? It doesn't make any sense how much I can fluctuate between five to eight pounds. That's crazy, who does that? Me. I just weighed myself again. I'm back down to 212 and yesterday I was at 215. So I don't know if it's whether I'm dehydrated or I'm drinking too much water or too much protein. I don't know what's going on today. All I've had was protein drinks. My stomach's starting to cramp up from not eating. I took a bite of my son's corn dog. Didn't taste good at all. I noticed that the longer I stay away from foods that when I go back to try to taste them, they don't taste as good as they used to. That's a good thing because then I won't be craving it anymore. That's a bad thing sometimes because I'm gonna miss it. But this is more important than missing food, right? I've been doing good. Today was a good day. Did a lot of things uh, with my kids and went out and did a lot of walking. I did, let me see how many steps I did. We go to my fitness pal. You know this picture on my fitness pal? I don't know if you can see it looks so good it's blueberries and fruit Woo! my goal is to do 5,000 steps a day that's what i'm working up to that means taking a walk twice a day if i have to to just randomly walking around the house or whatever but um that's pretty much my goal for after post off but however i think i did good today i did 3,049 steps Woo woo! I, I did a lot of walking today. Thanks to having some naps today, I wouldn't have been able to do it if I didn't doze off first. So, okay, so today starts the day where I cannot, I'm not supposed to have any medication, whether it's something for the headache or other kind of medications. I don't know what people do if they are on like let's say blood pressure medicine what do you guys do are you guys on any kind of medication when you were on your pre-op diet and did your doctors allow you to continue on your medication all the way up until your three-day liquid diet or all the way up until surgery uh, i'm not on any medication at the moment i did stop it i was on antidepressants um i had some antibiotics i was taking I'm, i stopped um I do feel good, I do feel okay, but I do have a headache. I have a severe headache and it goes away, it comes and goes. Like right now, it's coming back and um, I'm gonna have to drink a lot more water and just um, maybe have a popsicle, maybe it's a sugar thing, I don't know, because I am pre-diabetic and some, or not pre-diabetic, oh, I am pre-diabetic, but the anemia part of it, I need um, at least a little bit of sugar to uh, boost up my blood sugars but what do you if you guys were on any you know diabetes medicine or any kind of blood pressure med or any kind of medication did you guys have to stop doing um, the medication seven days prior every doctor's different I get that every hospital's different I get that I just I'm just curious because I know on my papers here that it did state that seven days prior to your surgery, it would be a good idea to 
stop all your medications and not take any. So, okay. Okay, so let's take a step back on this paper. It says 14 days prior to surgery, do not smoke. Those who had a hard time quitting smoking, now's your chance to quit smoking. I don't smoke, but um, they don't want you smoking before your surgery. They gave me options, one protein drink for breakfast, one protein drink for lunch, and then a salad with protein, six ounces for women, uh, eight ounces for men, so six ounces of chicken or fish or egg, etc. Small amount of low fat or fat free dressing or none at all, or olive oil and vinegar, an evening snack could be a protein drink. You may take one Metamucil capsule per day for hunger. Uh, the best thing about this so far, I haven't felt hungry. That's been awesome. I'll have my moments where I'm like, oh my God, I need food. And then I realize, no, oh, really, I don't feel that hungry. Trust me, I've been complaining to my husband. Okay, here it is. Seven days prior to surgery, discontinue vitamins, aspirin, ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, Nuprin, Aleve, or any other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. I already read this on one of my videos. This includes baby aspirin or both arthritis medications. These medications can cause unnecessary bleeding, bleeding after uh, surgery. They thin out your blood, so those things you shouldn't be taking. For headache or minor pains, you may use Tylenol. Okay, I could use Tylenol. Do not take any herbal medications or remedies. So that's it for right now. That's all I got right now, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. I really have n not much to say. Things are going good. I feel good, um, except for the occasional headache, like I said, and the stupid fluctuating weight loss up and down. What the heck? That's weird. It's weird to me. Although I should expect it because my body is going through some changes right now. I should expect it. Okay, this video is going on long enough. We will see you guys all tomorrow for day number nine. Everything's going great. Thank you to all the new subscribers who just subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. You guys following along in my journey. I make sure that if you guys have a journey on YouTube, let me know because I will go over and subscribe because I like watching your journeys as well. You also give me tips, hints, and tricks also if you're ahead of me. So um, I do go around watching um, everybody else's YouTube. Um, it's been nice getting to know some of you. I really appreciate um, all the comments and replies and just getting to know people. If Oh, one more thing. I did just create a Facebook page called Sleeved Mel 2015 uh, 16. I'll leave the links down below so you don't have to write it in. Just click on the link, go over to the Facebook page, click like. I'm going to post videos there. I'm going to post pictures there. That is my page. So make sure you go over uh, to that page and like and um, follow along in my journey over there as well. So I hope you guys do. We will see you guys all tomorrow. I almost spit on you. Love you guys. Ciao. Um, that's, um, be right back. Um, let me get to it. Or, um, what else? Am I even recording? I hope so. Okay, I am. I wasn't sure if I was recording or not. Uh, um, so. Anyway. Um, I did, where do I find how many steps I took? I, um, anyway, so I, so, um, so, um, uh,